Oh my god. Garrett's already thinking the right thing. Alright, whoever animated that change on his face <laughs> deserves an award. Oh my god. I know, I'm not trying to ruin the moment, but that was... I, I don't know if I've ever seen such a clean transition on a character. It was too late to help him. It's not your fault. I should not have fled here to Kemorn. Avalark is weak, but alive. Triss is tending to the others. I nearly killed you. Killed everyone. Oh, man. God, I don't even know what I say. We'd all be dead if not for you. No, Geralt. The hunt would never have come to Kaer Morhen if I wasn't here. Vesemir's funeral. We should prepare. Man. I mean, not to not to be too horrible about it, but it it seems like it would have been crazy for us to get out of this unscathed, but unscathed. But it's still, I mean, the game really does successfully hammer home everything Vesemir does and is. So it's not like it's not like in some games where it just doesn't feel like you lost anything, but No witcher's ever died in his own bed. You don't know 
how it is to see someone you love die because of you, for you. We all knew what we were signing up for. Yes, and you saved me. For how long? A week? A month? We'll hide you, cover your tracks. No, I will flee no more. fail. For those who remain, death should never take precedence over life. Pay your last respects to your friend. Then we must hold counsel. Sounds really silly, but I'm really glad they took Geralt's gloves off for that scene. It, it sounds like such a minor thing, but it really was amazing to to, like, have him, you know, you could see that he was trying to hold the torch and feel the torch in his hand, and he didn't want anything to stand between that. So that's, I really, that was a really good choice, actually. Thank you. <laughs> Please. She was my ward, too. And the old should only ever stick around to help the young. <laughs> you know, this hardly ends your struggle. I know. Whatever you aim to do now, Remember, you'll find souls willing to aid you in Skellige. Myself, Prach, his children. I'll remember. Thanks. Thanks, dude. I'll remember that. I shall take another look at the wounded. But I'll need to go soon. I'll leave you some medicines. <laughs> medicines? Go in hell, Thermion. Till we meet again. Hey, Eskel. What's on your mind? Care Morin. Can't imagine this place without Vesemir. Yeah. I hear that. I'll head down the valley soon and find somewhere else to winter next year. Oh. Stay, Come on, man. it's the only home we've ever had. Stay. No, Geralt. Place has been dying a while. Last nail in the coffin today. Time we accepted that. Oh. I guess that's fair. Hey, Roche. So, tell me. Tell I can what? say I've seen it all now. I still don't believe everything that happened. How can I thank Risked you? Risked your lives for me. How can I repay you? We'll think of something. Right? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> what will you do? We're bound for Novigrad. To fight the next fight. If you miss us, look for us at the camp. Sure. Sounds good. Hey, Lambert. How are you feeling? Please. Oh, oh Lambert. Thanks for everything. Sure. Oh. Ho, ho. No, don't ask if something's Get fucking your wrong. Back. Leave me alone. Oh. Damn. Lambert's like super sad about it. There you are. Thanks, Yalmar. I'm sorry. Thanks for your help. I had a debt to pay. Straight back to Skellige? Yeah, straight back to Skellige. Wouldn't be right to tarry. War with the Black Ones won't wait. <laughs> That's very fair. You can count Got on me, you know. Always. Thanks, Yalmar. Thanks. We're bro, Yalmar. Thanks, man. Come to see how I'm feeling. Thanks. Not bad. Of course, Zoltan. That's time. good. That's good. Ah, son. Horrible about Vesemir. I know you were close. Thanks. We were. I mean, he was basically Listen, like Carol's dad. Far be it from me to stick my beard, but it'll no scratch an itch. So don't take this the wrong way. I want to help, whatever you decide, but to my mind, we've got to counterattack. I've got seems... to find the hunt, Eredin, and charge at them both like a bull at a heifer. You're probably... There's too few. There aren't enough of us. 
Sure, we repelled the hunt's assault, but that was a miracle, plain and simple. Won't be so lucky next time. Forgive me, Geralt, but that's the blathering of a man who clearly can't snap out of it after a tragic loss. Drink it off. Sleep it off, whatever it takes. Just get yourself together and think things through. That's fair, Zoltan. I'll do that, Zoltan. I'll remember your teachings always. And the sacrifice you made. Oh, Yen's not even here, nor is Triss. Oh, Zero Triss was can harness immense amounts of the power. Why has no one taught her to control this? Actually, some did teach her. Clearly, to no effect. Oh God! Now what are we walking into? Haven't had a chance to talk. Thanks for your help, and for looking after Siri. You will thank me later. Now we must take Zirel from here, Haida. And then gather a greater force. Anyone, everyone we could count on came here to care Morhen. Which is why we must seek the help of enemies. Magic is our best defense against the hunt. We need sorceresses. Arch mistresses of magic. Oh god, you I know one watch? name. Uh does the lodge even really exist anymore? Many of the lodge's members are dead. The rest are in hiding. Philippa Eilhart, Margarita Loantil, and Frangilla Vigo are likely still alive. <laughs> and Francesca and Ida? Think they'd agree? I think they'll take convincing. Would you rather speak to Kira alone? That would probably be best. It doesn't look like we have much of a choice. Don't trust the Lodge one bit. But it doesn't seem like we have a choice. Because we don't. I've made an agreement with the Emperor. In exchange for its help, the Lodge will be granted amnesty and find asylum in Nilfgaard. That will be our bargaining chip. Wow. Triss, I wish to leave today to find the sorceresses. Will you help me? Of course. Even got an idea where you could start. Damn it! Again you planned without even asking what I think. I've had enough of this. Have Damn, I been Siri. taken somewhere like a bundle? I will not sit and twiddle my thumbs. I am sick of waiting, sick of hiding. You're right. You're right. Prove today you can take care of yourself. Easier to pat someone on the back and hope things will work out than it is to face the truth. Shut up. Zirel possesses a great power she cannot control. She is a danger to herself, to others. Until she learns to control it, she should remain isolated. First of all, bollocks. Second, if you're going to speak of courage, at least address me directly and not through Geralt. <laughs> I'm gone. Whoa. I'll go I'll after, go after her. her. Wait, she needs time. We must let her resolve her grief on uh. her own. Then we should start training as soon as possible. She must learn to control her abilities. This training really necessary? Yes. You saw what happened. She could be a greater threat than the hunt. Fine. We'll stay here a while longer, then join you and Triss in Novigrad. Meet at Dandelion's Inn. I sense Act Come 3 on, coming. The sooner we leave, the better. See ya. It's so sad to think of just leaving Care Morhen. Lambert won't come back. Eskel said he won't come back. I guess the world doesn't really need Care Morin anymore. Wow, about a billion updates just happened. It's not working, don't you see? Discouraged after a mere eight attempts? See you there. How many times must I try? As many as it takes. I'm not getting anywhere. <laughs> what are you looking at me for, dude? We shall return to this later.
Didn't make it far first time out on the gauntlet either. Geralt, please, not now. By comparison, the gauntlet was a walk in the park. But that's not the point. What is? Avalar says nothing will come of this until I stop thinking about the battle. But at the moment, I find it impossible to fill my head with kittens and vanilla pudding. <laughs> Tell me, how do you do it? What? Always manage to pull yourself together. Focus. No matter what's happening. Uh, I think I know what might lift your spirits. Hmm. There's a certain ancient method. Vesemir taught it to me, and Barman taught it to him. <laughs> you take me into the mountains and make me drink hemlock. The skeleton oh. druids have used it for centuries. It always works. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Certain ancient method. Oh, don't reach at that pile don't of snow, Cirilla. That. Don't you do. Oh, you're fucking done, Missy. Oh, you're fighting Geralt the Witcher now. You're done for. You're fucking done. Oh, shit. We'll see about that. How am I supposed to. Come and get me. How am I supposed to throw a snowball? Whoa! Wait, okay, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do in a snowball fight? I don't know how to do this. Use R1. All right. I have to find out where the fuck I can actually... Oh, there we go. You cheating motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> You're talking about cheating. Let's get more snowballs. Oh, you cheater. Boom. Siri, eat it. Whoa, this, the sunlight just changed a lot. Boom. Oh, shit. Nope, Siri. Oh, crap. Boom. How is it cheating for me to hit you, Siri? Oh, shit. Oh, God. Geralt, no, Geralt. You did it. You tell me. Oh, you. F Why can't I loot? I need to loot. Ah! No. Oh, I got her. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Glad to be of service. So what now? I'll go see where our dearest sage is. <laughs> well, I'm glad I picked that option. You must go. I've saddled the horses. Siri, it's the crack of dawn. <laughs> Where do you want to go? To Velen, Bald Mountain. But a few days till the Witch's Sabbath. What does it have to do with anything? And guess who's the guest of honor? Enlighten me. Dunno. Enlighten me. Imlirith. We'll have no better chance to get him. Okay. Where did you get this idea? What's gotten into you? I must avenge Vesemir. The Sabbath. It's the perfect opportunity. 
Imlarith will be drunk among his cohorts. Caught up in the revelry. Finally get to go to Bald Mountain, the question mark it couldn't reach in Velen. What does Avalach say? How'd you learn about the Sabbath? How'd you learn all this? Imlarith? The Sabbath? Avalach. He told me of those who chase us. Claims knowledge itself can tip the scales. Come. We shall talk on the way. We gotta visit the Emperor first. Wait. Something I gotta tell you before we go. You know, the Emperor really wanted you found. Yennefer mentioned something. Wanted you to visit him. Why would you tell me now? Because this could be your last chance to see your father. Think I should go? Yeah, probably you should just really wants see him. to talk. How can you be sure? What if he wants something more? Promised me he wouldn't force you to do anything. So I should go? He is your father. Azima is on the way. I suppose we can drop in. Sure, let's do it. <sighs> Ready? Let's go. No saying goodbye to Yen or anything like that? I guess they left. The defenders licked their wounds and mourned their losses, save Siri, who began to plan her revenge. She woke Geralt one night and urged him to travel with her to Velen, to the top of Bald Mountain where she knew she'd find Imlarith. She had decided he had to die. <laughs> oh, she decided that. Yeah, she decided she uh, he had to die. No big deal. I mean, he does look like a crazy badass. Would be good to take care of him. All right. Oh, I love that she's wearing the Witcher amulet. Your Imperial Majesty, Geralt of Rivia. And Geralt. Cyrilla Fiona Ellen Rhiannon, Queen of Sintra, Princess of Bruges, and Duchess of Sutton. Heiress to Innes Ard Skellig and Innes Ann Skellig and suzerain of Atra and Abiara. Oh, God. Siri's so like, what the fuck? It, before long, every soul from Milfgaard to the Dragon Mountains will kneel before you. I did not expect you to keep your word, Witcher. I, we're here thanks to Siri. Siri wanted to hear what you have to say. And she will. Your reward. No way. Okay, gotta, gotta, oh god. Didn't do this for the coin. Didn't come to collect on a deal. You asked me to bring your daughter here. I did just that. Oh, Siri, Siri likes that. hear you out. Then we leave. Yeah! Are you sure? Never again would you need to stalk monsters while wading through sewage. That don't matter. Not sure. Yeah! Yeah! Honor prevents you from accepting. Not honor, point. dude. In that case, a stallion, a thoroughbred milf guardian, awaits you in the stables. Treat it as an expression of my gratitude. Okay. Thank you. Now forgive me. I wish to speak to my daughter. Everyone here just heard him call her, her da his daughter. Follow me, sir. Everyone here just heard it. Or did everyone get dismissed uh, just when we weren't looking? Oh, this room's empty. Nice, good statue. Good White statue, Wolf, guy holding the head. See you. Yeah, hey, okay, General, General, what's up? You had no trouble crossing the Ponta, I trust. No. I take it you crossed via the ford near Van Glean. It's fortunate you did not choose to ride through Rhind, a troubled region still. Radovid seeks to breach the front in the west, 
Hmm. But he'll not succeed. Not before the princess becomes empress and we bring order to the area. She's not interested in, uh... I don't know if she'll do that. Siri hasn't agreed to that yet. Yes, of course, she's tactful, not one to celebrate an offer not yet made. But this is not the kind of offer one refuses. Uh... Isn't it? Isn't it? Do you know any who would not like to be Emperor of Nilfgaard? Siri. Can you imagine? I thought only the wine-addled minds of bards and poets could give birth to such stories. Uh-oh, the, the music. Stop it. The daughter of the most powerful ruler in the continent's history returns on the eve of his final triumph to embrace uh -oh. her inheritance. <laughs> Simpletons adore such stories as they do the princesses, ever beautiful and delicate who are the... Oh. Geralt, we're leaving. Oh shit. Okay. So nice to see you, my lady. Likewise. Time oh. we were on our way. A shame you can't stay. I hope to continue this on another occasion. That makes one of us. Oh. <laughs> well. If he thinks he can buy me, he is sorely mistaken. He offer anything specific? Yes. Very specific. Thoroughly absurd. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Not now, at least. Okay. Won't pressure you. When you're ready, let's go. When you're ready, she's the one who just asked you to leave. I like how the general's just standing there, all sad looking. Oh come on, really? You couldn't even. Okay. If you're gonna force me to go through two of these as loading sequences, you know that I'm gonna see this twice, right? Like, did <laughs> did you not think? If we're gonna show this twice, we show a slightly different one. Maybe we mention the emperor in the f if you go to the emperor, and if not, you just go to the other one and see this. <laughs> like they knew if you pick go see the emperor, you see it twice. I don't know. <sighs> Whatever. Uh, I find it interesting how Yennefer and Triss didn't seem to offer any real opinion on us doing this trip together. Now, I've already been to this area, but I never was allowed inside Bald Mountain. There's a locked door that stops me from entering. And I could never get up to that tree. It's Why do they call it Bald Mountain if the, there's a tree? <laughs> Seems weird. The men at Crow's Perch, they spoke of this place. Ard Servin, home of the ladies of the wood. What? The, the crones? The feared coming here. And the barons thought the ladies of the wood a terrifying tale for naughty children. Oh, no. Incidentally, I wonder how the baron is. Uh, bad news. Himself after his wife died. Daughter's in Novigrad. A true shame. You actually, how do you know he's going to be here? To find Imlarith here? You sure? Avalok told me of beings who commune with the NL elves. They can be found in every part of our world. In Velen, the crones do this. Apparently, Imlarith came Fucking here at Eredin's behest to order the crones to keep their eyes open and ears pricked in case Avalok were to seek shelter in his Velen hideout. Took the order literally, judging by all the ears hanging in the woods. <laughs> might still be here. He craves the pleasures of the flesh, wine, sex. The crones indulge him, flatter his ego. I'm certain he'd not let this opportunity pass, and we'll be on Bull Mountain for the Sabbath. I mean, either way, we can kill some crones, so t t fucking fine I with that. Know this area. Centuries ago, it was a hallowed site for druids. But then the crones arrived, destroyed the Velen Circle, and deformed the sacred oak atop the mountain. An important feast is observed here annually. The Sabbath, they call it. All the local folk attend. I suspect Imlarith attends too. I, as the do we need gets. the suspect about Imlarith wine? Seems I mean, we know that. Havelock's a good tutor. Let's go. Let's get this done. We must reach the peak. We'll find Imlarith there. Let's make a nice real save game, dude. The folk of Velen call this night the Feast of Gifts. I have no idea why. Loads of footprints. A crowd of peasants came through here. And didn't come back. Alright, Siri, let's go. 
Whoa. Avalarch claims vanity is Imlaris's greatest weakness. Vanity? Any foe he faces, he strives to impress. The other one, really? Caranthia, is said to be secretive and pragmatic. Hardly surprising, given he was Avalarch's student. What? What the fuck? These guys are so intertwined. Okay. Like, does this not present an issue how Ciri's walk animation is faster than mine? I can't run, can't even walk faster, and she has to stop to let me go. Let them approach. They've come for the feast. Wouldn't do to cast them out. Didn't come to celebrate. We need to get to the top of the mountain. The gate is shut. You'll not pass. But we fire us down that away with food and drink aplenty. Sit down beside one, and perhaps this year the ladies will descend. Give us the privilege of seeing them. Yeah, no. We'll sit down by well, a thank fire. You for the invitation. Be glad to sit down, right? Speak for yourself. Siri. Come with me. Wait, what? What? I don't understand. Who thought that looked okay? What a team. Ladies descend. Would visit you. If they favor us. My father told me they descended once. Passed from fire to fire, listening to hopes and grievances. That's a huge so antler year, deer in the back. Oh my god. Walk amongst us once more. Haven't done <laughs> that it was in hilarious. a long time then. No point waiting to see if we'll get lucky. Yeah, we gotta try to reach the peak. Why can't we pass the gate that I said we wouldn't pass? Only the chosen visit the ladies. Every year, young lads and lasses climb the mount, but never more than three. Let me guess. The young lads and lasses don't return. <laughs> oh, they return happy and radiant. But rare is the one who then stays in Velen. Off they go to seek fortune in the wider world. Huh. What's the feast celebration? celebration? What's it about? What do you need to know, Wanderer? No need for anger. The White Ones serve the ladies as we do now. Can you chill, dude? We God. send them gifts all year long. And on this night... They repay us with their blessing. I met one of your gifts to the crones. Snivelling. Scared to death and about eight years old. Stay calm. Siri. Chill. Why do they need the children? Why do the ladies need uh, them? I know why. We know not and never ask. You don't know? Then let me tell you. Siri. Tell us instead what a peasant, his own young and starving, is to do with a wandering war orphan. You're not from here. Don't judge us by others' laws. Siri, uh, well, okay, that's wrong, too. Said the ladies bestow blessings on you. Aye, for our lives turn thus. First a summer of labor neath the hot sun, then autumn rains, then a winter of death. Then we await spring, when all that is dead is born anew. And from our blood and sweat, the oak bears acorns, at times few, at times a handful. What do you do with the acorns? The Velen hmm. elders gather, hold council. Some favor grinding them to spread on the fields for a rich harvest. Others want them given to a cunning woman who'd make medicine for consumption. Hmm. A handful of enchanted acorns is enough for all Velen. Tis never enough. Of course it's not. Fucking of course this. it's not. We've got other questions. We should go. We should be going. Eager to see the ladies. I share your yearning. We're a oh, fire we got yearning. Come, Geralt. We must get there before daybreak. Go to the tent and stand before Thecla. She's the one who decides who's worthy to face the ladies. Interesting. 
Well, hey, look, we can move normally and we have some merchants. Hey, bud. Show me your waz. What you got? I am not selling Winter's Blade at all. Dude, you certainly don't have much, do you? Fish and dried fish are the exact same. That's funny. I don't really have a lot of stuff on me, but I my weight is crazy. Oh, I can sell all the alcohol I'm carrying. That might help. My weight is so high. I wish there was a breakdown of what the weight is. None of this weighs anything. At least as far as I know. Um, none of my quest items weigh more than, like, point something pounds. And then all this other stuff, I guess, is where a lot of the weight comes from. Like, I have 1.4 pounds of skulls. Books don't weigh anything. And that's a lot of fucking books. I don't know. Farewell. Yeah, something is nigh. We're gonna fuck things up. Hey, yeah. hey, dude. Yeah. Let me see Whoa. What wow, he actually sells some swords that are so high level that I can't even use them. Thank God my Witcher swords are better. Can I just say? Like, I'd be real fucking sad if my super sick swords weren't actually that good. <laughs> Excuse me. See, these don't weigh anything. I mean, I guess all these fucking trophies weigh a pound, and that's like 20 pounds right there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 21 pounds. But, like, where's the other hundred-some coming from? Two, one, six. But I'm still at, like, 150-ish. Is it just all this shit? I don't know. Whatever. Doesn't really matter. Uh, actually. Let me see. Uh, no crafting. Repair. There we go. Thanks, Skibbity-Bop. So long. 